to my channel I know I know I know I know I know I told you guys I was gonna do my filming setup and stuff and I took very long to do it but today I'm bringing you that video so I hope you guys like it do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell follow me on Instagram so we can interact more because sometimes I just be in my bag and I don't be posting on YouTube sometimes but I do post on my story on Instagram so if you want to chat or whatever follow me on there so yeah let's get right into this video all right you guys before I switch the camera I just wanted to show you the camera that I use so this is the camera that I use as you can see the back there is a mess but this is the Sony a6400 with the kit lens and I connect it to the computer via this Android charger thing and then I just download the Sony inputs so I can see myself on the remote control right here all right that's basically what I wanted to show you so I'm gonna switch over to the camera and just give you a little bit of information about the stuff that I use why I use it and I'm gonna have all the links to them down below so you guys can check them out or I'm probably gonna have the name on the screen I'm not sure but let's get started oh yeah and guys I already did an unboxing and everything for this wig and I showed you it straight out the packaging with the different scarves and stuff that they have so if you want to check out that dedicated video I will link it down below Outside, there is the stirring of birds among the leaves, or the sound of men going forth to their work, or the sigh and sob of the wind coming down from the hills and wandering. This video is my filming setup. So it's a little bit messy right now, but I'm just going to turn around and, well, not turn around, but I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the stuff that I use. And yeah, it's very simple and easy. My room is very small, so I want to make sure that it's not too much stuff so that it's cluttered, but that the quality of the videos are pretty good. So yeah, and for my backdrop, I just have a bunch of um full leaf vines hanging and i'm gonna link that down below i got it from amazon and i just put the fairy lights onto the wall using um what is it called i don't know what it's called it's those little things that you stick on the wall and then you command hooks they're called command hooks so that's what i use to put up my backdrop all right you guys so when you come through my door this is the first thing you see this is the wall i was telling you about and then when you walk in i normally set up my table right here so the table that i use is like a picnic type of table i got it from amazon it was fairly affordable i love everything to be affordable so i'm not spending too much money on equipment so i have that table it came from amazon i have a vanity light and i have this reflector it was affordable as well you use it to take pictures i like using this because when i have on my two soft boxes which is right here when i have that on the light reflects off of the soft boxes and it gives me like a glow from underneath my chin so it's not like a dark shadow on my neck area so that's why i like using the reflector this is a reflector i'm gonna link it down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested in 
getting one of those then I have two sock soft boxes and you can see my bed is literally right there so my room is fairly small but I try to make with what I have and then my clothing rack is right there but this is not a room tour anyways I have two soft boxes I like using those because they really bring light in so even if the Sun is going down it's still gonna have fairly good lighting in here then over there I have this amazing ring light and I really like this ring light because it comes with a remote and I'm gonna show you you can okay so I'm gonna turn on the soft box lights this is how it looks with no lighting and then this is how it looks with one let me turn the camera around. And this is how it looks with just... Okay, this is too bright. I'm going to bring down the aperture. Alright. So this is how it looks with the two soft boxes on without the ring light. And... I like it. I feel like if you're on a budget, the soft boxes are a go-to. But I would say if you really want, I'm going to turn the soft boxes off and show you how it looks with just the, the ring light. But I wanted to show you why I feel like this ring light is so cool. Because I had a ring light before and it broke. Like the head of it will keep moving and all kind of crazy stuff. And I don't have time for that. The ring light bulb. As soon as it break, you want you don't want to be waiting for somebody to send you the bulb for you to try to figure out how to fix it and all this extra stuff. So I got this new ring light. It was a little bit more pricey. I think it was over $100, but it was not over $150. I, I don't believe. But I'm going to link everything down below so you can check it after this video if you want to. Um, yeah. And for my camera, I do have a Rodeo. It's called Rod. I have a Rod microphone connected to my camera just so the sound is better i feel like the sound is much better with this on than not but wait i'm gonna get the thing okay so what i was telling you about the ring light it comes with a remote keep in mind none of this stuff is sponsored i paid for it with my own money so i'm literally just telling you this because i want to all right so for the ring light i just plug it in and then i'm going to turn it on right here i like that because then i don't have to get up and keep clicking it i could just click it from the remote right here like a tv i can put up the brightness of it i can make it warmer if i want it to be warmer so you see it turns like a yellow color if you want it to be warmer if you want it to be colder you could just click the cool button and it's gonna turn it cooler and it turns like very blue but I like an in-between because obviously I'm brown skin and I don't have no blue undertones so I do go in between and I just give it a little bit of both and it's very bright I like that you could dim it down as well and this is like more of how I would film my videos as you can see all the sides of my face everywhere is very lit it's lit up and it's clear so that's why I like these lights and when they're on this is how it looks this is what I would see when I'm filming and I normally connect my computer I have the MacBook MacBook Pro 13 inch I just connected to my camera how I showed you earlier I normally just have my mirror right here and then I have my bag next to me with all my hair stuff or just depending on what I'm filming I would have my makeup up here so that's basically my filming setup thing it, it's really nothing to it because my room is so small I don't want to have too much stuff going on so it's not a big production or anything so yeah if you guys have any other questions do feel free to message me down below oh and uh, the the camera stand wait where's my y'all i'm making a mess here anyways the camera stand that i use is called the ikoto ikoto tripod stand so i'm gonna link everything down below so you guys can check it out i'm gonna link the inputs that i put into my computer i don't think that i could do a video at how i edit on the computer just because i don't have enough space to edit and screen record the screen because then that's going to be a long um screen recording footage but yeah uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know if you like this video. I knew I took a while to bring this video to you guys, but 
I uh, I am going to be doing my how I edit on my phone because I know I promised you guys that since the last year and then a lot of people have voted on it this year so I'm definitely going to do that video because most people don't want to buy a computer to edit when everybody has a phone and I started editing on my phone and I learned a lot of tips and tricks like how to make a green screen how to put a logo on your video through iMovie so I know a lot of well not a lot but I know some little you know tips and tricks so I will be doing that video very soon don't forget to thumbs up so I know that you like it and yeah just thumbs up this video and if you thumbs it up and I see like there's a lot of people liking this video then I'll know that you guys really want to see videos like this and more information videos so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video bye